Hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ice Lakes. And yes, I'm still doing the Fishing for My Personal Best episodes, and we're advancing to a 45-minute tournament. Now, these tournaments can go quite long. To be perfectly honest, I'm not sure if I remember just how long they can go. But we're going to advance this to 45 minutes. Let's just take a look here. So you can go all the way to 180, so we've got a ways to go yet. Let's see how well we do at 45 minutes. And let's go ahead, I think what I'm going to do is go to the west coast this time. We're going to see if we can't catch something really, really big. Again, we're going for total weight. Not necessarily the biggest fish. And I kind of think I want to try morning and try this in the fall when the autumn salmon runs are running let's take a look at our terrain here what we got here we got a lot we got a lot of sturgeon we've got a lot of salmon there's all kinds of species here the water is very deep about 151 feet the first place brings in 1725 so that would be really helpful the biggest fish i've caught here was a salmon that was 16 pounds so the that is nowhere close to what I caught in the uh, uh, last one. I think I was at 20 pounds. So let's go ahead, check our depth. I think I know where I want to go, if I remember correctly. I know my good spots here. Let's go ahead and start. Now these guys come big. So we're going to have to really run for this one spot. For some reason, I caught quite a few just off this little point right as soon as you get into the deep water, right about here. Yeah, this was good. Now we do have our heavy standards, so we're good on that. Well, there we go. <laughs> Now I'm fishing with my salmon snake and with my meteor hook because that is real popular for the salmon. So let's give her a try here. Hold, let's throw a little trout jam in there at first. Trout jam is also salmon jam. Salmon jam. <laughs> that sounds a little odd, doesn't it? Alright guys, let's see if we can't catch us a big and big old fish. Big old salmon. There we go. And it's big. It is big, guys. It's going to take a little while to get him up. I don't think it's the biggest I've ever caught, but he's decent sized. Good way to start. Nice pike. Nice pike. That's the first time I've seen a pike go for the salmon snake. That's that's kind of unusual, honestly. I caught a real big pike in here. I think I caught a, about a 15 pounder out of this lake. So. Don't be surprised about what you can catch in this particular lake. Alright, whatever this is is not that big, but we'll bring it in anyway. It's a little salmon. Not impressive, though. <laughs> what is it? Less than half a pound? Come on, guys. I know there's bigger ones than that.
There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Much better. Now we're getting some fish. There we go. Not, nah, not bad. I don't think it's huge, but... Let's move on here, guys. Let's go to a different spot. Yeah, the spot I'm talking about was right about here. Where the water flows in. I'm surprised there aren't... Seems like they stick around these little areas here. I never caught much there. Alright, we're going to try the salmon snake for a little while and then might switch over to one of the other salmon lures that we have. Oh, forgot my trout. There we go. Darn near forgot. Come on. Need us a big old fish. Come on. At least get the pike out of this hole. That's not the pike because he's not very big. Oh, he's just a baby. That's a that's a pike. No, think so. That'd be a pickerel. <laughs> And a little bitty pike. That was kind of... Kind of pathetic, honestly. <laughs> kind of pathetic. How in the world did I catch such a little bitty fellow? Ah. Uh. So far, I'm just not getting that big of fish here. I'm catching the salmon, just not the biggest ones. All right, let's let's do this. Let's go to our lures here. Silver bite is also popular with salmon, so let's try that one. Let's see if they don't like that a little bit better. Want a big fish. There he is. There he is. There's our bigger fish. Okay, this guy's big. This guy's pretty good size. Yeah, look at that thing bobbing up and down. I would say at least 
closer to 10 pounds. He's not a monster, but he's good size. Whoa, well, I was wrong. He was pretty good size. 15 pounds. Not my record, but much better. I think I was a good plan changing to the silver bite this time. Let's see if his dad's down there. <laughs> this might have been Junior. Let's get Dad. <laughs> yeah, if I don't get a hit here soon, I think I'm going to move on to a new spot. Yep, I think it's time. Because we don't know how well these other guys are doing. I do know that they seem to be hovering a lot around here. And yes, this is usually a pretty, a pretty good spot, but... I want to go a little further... There's so many of them here. Might have fished it out, but I seem to be staying deep enough. Alright, let's see if... Make sure they didn't take all the fish out of these holes. If they did, I think we might go to the other side of the lake. Try it there. Come on, fish. I know you're there. At least give me a monster pike. That would be so awesome. Okay, okay. This might be our... Decent sized pike here. It's not my pike, but it's a decent sized salmon. Which means my pike is still there. Thing is, I don't know that they go for the silver bite, honestly. This may strictly be salmon. A salmon lure. Whoa! Okay. That I'm happy with. It's not the biggest, but... Any more weight I can get, the better here. Okay, so they're running about four to five pounds here. Let's find the dad to these guys. Well, I'm getting a lot of bites. Nothing's huge though. It's like great but will it be enough that's the problem if other fishermen are doing just as good because I'm getting myself a little pile going on there aren't I there we go okay this one's a little bigger than the last group I don't think it's over 10 pounds, but it's 
Gonna be bigger than four. Oh, that's my pike. I did get my pike. Well, I'm happy now. Alright guys, let's move on to another location here. Let's see. Where shall I go? I think I know where I want to go, actually. I think I know. Hi, bunny rabbit. I think I want to go over here. I want to go over here. Right here in the deep area. Make sure that that is... Yes, that's exactly where I want to be. I'm surprised. Surprised there wasn't any other Fisher guys over here. I don't know. I have a feeling there's a big fish down there. And I was right. I was right. Well, he's not as big as I thought he was. Still... Alright, we're more than halfway through this. Actually, no, we're almost halfway through this. I don't know what our current weight of fish is, but it's got to be pretty good. Okay, this one's decent size, too. I like when I keep a steady stream of fish, though. Doesn't get boring. There's my pike. Yeah, you'll notice I'll pull at least one pike out of every hole. But you only pull one. I've never pulled more than one. I think it's set up that way. Yeah, this guy's kind of small. See, it's not really taking a lot of effort to pull him up. He's not that big. I didn't think I ever put that in. Figure might as well. Couldn't hurt. Couldn't height. I might try my blue beast here for a little bit. I don't know. I just have this feeling that this would be a good place to try it. Let's see what we get, you know? Okay, we got us another one. It's not huge. Throw the bow blue beast. We're gonna do this for Mo. That's Mo's favorite friend of mine that I She ought to be part of the gener Generation X team. I wish she could be. She's an awesome player, awesome YouTuber. 
But her favorite lure that I use is the Blue Beast. The funny thing is, it's one of the first ones. It, it, actually, I think it could come with the darn thing. But I have caught some big fish with this thing, and I caught the only monster sturgeon with it. Let's do a side to side here. Ah, oh, we got something. Ah, I flounder. There you go. That's different. I mean, it's not huge, but kind of like catching something a little different here. Yeah, this isn't huge, whatever it is, but let's take a look at it anyway. Ooh, Crucian Carp. That's different. Alright, I'm going to try one more shot with the Blue Beast, and then I think I'm going to go to something a little different. It's more sturgeon related. Ah, oh, perch. So I'm catching quite the variety. That's one thing I like about the blue beast. You kind of catch a variety of them thing is I need to catch some big ones I say I'm thinking about doing the carrot parade no that's not the one I want autumn leaves that's right autumn leaves and then maybe the Scandinavian King because those are autumn leaves is good for the sturgeon Scandinavian King is good for salmon let's go back to deep well, this isn't big, guys, I'm afraid, but let's see what it is. A Prussian carp. It's a pretty carp, isn't it? There we go. I wanted to get a look, good look at him. I haven't caught as many of those. Caught quite a few Crucian carps, but not the Prussian carps. Yeah, those really shiny gold scales. There we go. Come on. Nice salmon. We've got a nice pile of fish here. <laughs> yeah, the only problem with catching the flounder is... Flounder, I have not really caught very big flounder. They don't seem to come that big in this thing. Now guys, I've gotten this question many, many times in my comment section, and that is... Flounder in freshwater? <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's not a common fish to find in there. Um, I don't know 
if this is a species of flounder that I'm unfamiliar with because there is a flounder that is in fresh water but usually it's more brackish water but yeah they're pretty much saltwater fish so I don't know why they were introduced to the game I think there was probably some other species that may have been better <laughs> to be honest I think they were just trying to find a bottom fish but there's plenty of other options that you could have put there more catfish would have been nice yeah I'm not getting any bites here guys I'm not getting any bites so let's go ahead because we did pretty good right there not too bad I want to move out to deep, deep water here, guys. We're talking out here in the deep. I want to see what lurks out here, if anything. Thank God. <clears throat> Hit the wrong button. I just have this weird feeling that there's something big out here. There he is. There he is, guys. Check out my rod. Told you there's a big old fish out here. Okay, this is going to be a fight, guys. We're going to have to take this slow and easy. We don't want to snap this line. This is a big fish, guys. My rod is bouncing all over the place. Let's see what it is. Oh, crap! Yep, I just broke my record. <laughs> 22 pounds. Very nice, guys. Beat that. <laughs> Let's scoop this out a little bit. Let's go back to Carrot Parade. I like the Carrot Parade. Carrot Parade's done very well for me. Awesome lure. It's kind of pricey, but it was well worth it. There we go. Nice. Okay, I don't think he's quite as big as the last one, but he's this one's good size. my pike very nice caught my pike but I'm afraid I'm pretty much stuck this hole because I don't think I have time to move to another hole yeah this is not big this is not big Oh, 
<laughs> it's a little baby. <laughs> little baby. I mean, he's practically bait. Alright, we got a little something here. It's not huge, though. But I will tell you, I am going to have to quit at two minutes because I think I got a bit of a walk to get back to the starting gate. It's not too bad of a flounder, honestly. Alright, let's not put this that deep because we can only fish for a short time. We're going to have to kind of take whatever we can get here, if we can get anything. Yeah, I think it's time, guys. I think we're pushing our luck. I don't want to... Don't want to lose this because I've, I dawdled too long. Actually, I was closer to that than I thought. That's all right. I'm not sure the extra minute would have made that much of a difference anyway. Well, let's see how we did then. If I get here too soon, I might advance it a little bit. Yeah, I think everybody else is coming in too. They look like they're not taking any chances either. Alright, we're in the countdown. Let's see how we did. And... I came in first again. It was pretty close though, 89 pounds. The next person had 80, so it was it was a good competition, really good competition. So that's gonna help. That's more cash for me, guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that episode, and please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And so far, with each one, I've been doing a one thing that I've been hoping for, and that is to beat my record each time, and I managed to do it. So. Anyway, guys, until next time, I will see you later. Bye-bye.